what's up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be continuing on how to edit music videos professionally and today we're going to do some color grading well actually color correction this is the first thing you want to do when you you've come completed your music video everything is lined up and now you want to finalize that look so I'm going to show you what to look for and how to go about um, making your corrections so you want to go over to the color panel and this will switch your entire setup to a color grading it's a setup in particular for color grading what you want to do when you first hit this page is make sure you have master highlighted instead of um, your clip itself what this does is actually it makes the changes on the clip anywhere on the timeline instead of just in a particular spot on the timeline so make sure you have master highlighted at all times so you want to pull up your histogram not your histogram the waveform and the factor scope you want to be looking at these two and these two are going to help you just see where your balance at if everything is overblown and um, your shot is looking like this then your waveform is going to show that you have a lot of um, whites clipping so you want to make sure your levels are let's say you want to bring your levels down where it's not clipping and it's not too dark so it may look well given the the room you're in it may look too dark so you want to just look back and forth to get a nice um, understanding of where your balance is so you want to make sure your levels are balanced so bring them down just so you have it everything's under the level mark so right there is cool and as you can see in the shadows we have um we have some dark colors down here clipping so you want to raise this up just a bit so the idea is to have both ends like inside of this this um, um waveform so from there once we have that balance the uh, next thing we can do is we can add some contrast um, this all this is really all depending on what you're going for just use the balance rule as a as a guide to keep your shots from clipping and, and looking too overexposed so we can add some sh um, contrast and same as before just make sure everything is even and balanced out on both ends shadows we can probably you can probably lift them and you don't want to overdo anything too because um, unless you're you're shooting on a, on a high-end camera a lot of cameras won't be able to take this pushing and pulling like you're gonna make your your image look so horrible you know if you, if you was to overdo it that is but if you make subtle changes then it'll, it'll work so yeah, we can um shadows right there it's cool highlights we can bring this up that's cool um this shot is um for the most part balanced but what you can do to get um, your colors neutral is to play with the white balance and you can bring this and this where you look at your factor scope over here to see where your colors are at you know um, for this shot this was more of a sunset shot so this would be a little warmer so a little more to the warm side so hot woods was perfect because it was a sunset shot everything was natural and that's that's it Okay, so the next tab you want to look at is is um creative and in the creative tab you can just like before but you can sharpen your image um, I tend to leave the sharpening for um, the final layer like the adjustment layer so when you sharpen you sharpen everything one time so you can leave that for now um, saturation totally up on you depending on what you're going for you can add some that doesn't look too bad 
just cool curves same thing um what's recommended is making an s curve to help balance your highlights and shadows so your shadows and dark colors like would fall down here and your highlights would you know be up here in the middle would be gray so the s curves help you to make adjustments evenly between the dark and the light so you can play around with that to get um, to get a nice even balance look so that's cool um, some more stuff you can play with um, hue versus loma hue versus hue and what these does is basically singles out a color and you can darken it lighten it um, you can change that particular color you can you know stuff like that um, let me give you an example okay so this grass so hitting this targeted your green and pulling this down oh, I think I did this wrong but you can see that that color would be hold on so one there one there then you pull this down Over. I'm going to show you another way you can do this too where it's I mean for me I think it's done better um, using doing it um, the next way but you know look at the green you know the green is desaturating highlighting stuff like that but I'll show you a different way you can do it um, so you want to come down to color wheel and this is more too for a finalized look I use this um, when I'm when I'm color grading right now we're just correcting the colors and making sure everything is balanced before we we color grade and it's important to do because sometimes if you if you if you overlook the step and you start the color grade then it won't look right and then you you know be you have that question like why why is it looking like this or why isn't it looking up the way you think it should look um, you gotta level out everything first before color grading so don't overlook this step but um here's where you can um, play around with different colors you can um, let me show you, you can target a certain color say this green so you highlight all the greens the dark and the light greens Boom. and then you can come here down to saturation and you can just pull that color completely out if you want to like that for example so you can do stuff like that you know to um to get your look whatever look you're going for if you're going for a look where the greens were um less saturated that's that's how you do it right there so yeah i think that was pretty simple um color correcting is is really basic um, it's just evening out your tunes, making sure nothing is too white, making sure every, nothing is too dark, everything is nice and balanced. And then the next step would be color grading. So I'm going to continue that in another video, but make sure you color correct your videos before color grading. You need to. Um, it helps when you do add your colors and, and uh, a set of tune for your video. It does help every shot to look balance and, and complete it you know so stay tuned for more subscribe if you want to see more and color grading is the next video stay tuned for that